Hey guys and welcome back to Now I Know. Today let's talk about difference between vaccination and immunization. I'm sure you guys must be knowing what is vaccination and immunization but one common thing that I have noticed among students is they tend to think that they are the same thing but it is very important that we understand that they do not mean the same thing. So let's start with the definition and understand what each of them mean that itself will make the concept clear and we'll know at the end why we are saying that it is not the same thing. Alright, so let's begin. Alright, so we'll start with immunization. Now immunization means to get immune resistance against something. We are talking about human body. So we want resistance against certain pathogens or antigens. So we want our immune system to get uh, resistance against certain disease, right? So resistance against certain pathogen or antigen. And the process by which we acquire that immune resistance is called immunization, right? A process of inducing immunity or stimulating an immune response is immunization, right? It's easy to understand. So that means it's a process by which the body prepares itself to fight against a specific antigen or disease right we acquire immune resistance against a specific disease that process of gaining or acquiring the immune resistance is called immunization now once again as I move on this will become much more clear but as of now understand this much that the process of acquiring or process of immune resistance against certain pathogen or antigen is immunization. So this immunization can be acquired by different means. You know we can acquire immunization by different means and vaccination is one of the way to acquire immunization. Now let's first see what is the definition of vaccination and then we'll get a little clear picture and then again we'll move on to types of immunization and we'll see where exactly vaccination fits in. So vaccination, I'm sure we must be having an idea that it has come from the Latin word waka meaning cow where Edward Jenner actually first gave immune resistance or immunized a person uh, against smallpox by using cowpox. So he gave cowpox virus to an uh, individual that gave immune resistance against the smallpox virus. So that is vaccination where you administered a vaccine into an individual literally what vaccination means is just injecting or administrating an antigen or vaccine here we would say so that's killed or attenuated antigen which gives immunity to a person it's literally administrating a vaccine that procedure is called vaccination now once a person is given a vaccine that would result in stimulating a person's immune response and that results in immunization right because once the person's immune system is stimulated next time when a person encounters the same antigen he, he or she will show immune resistance to that particular antigen so vaccination results in immunization right vaccination literally means just injecting or administrating that particular vaccine that causes immunization in an individual it's a very clear cut difference right immunization is something that happens after vaccination now let me tell you different ways that can give us immunization and where the vaccination fits among them now basically immunization can be of two type it can be either active immunization or passive immunization and as the term itself uh, suggests here active means we are activating the immune system okay active immunization can be acquired when you activate or stimulate the immune system of the body it is important that the immune system is provoked in case of passive immunization it is a type of immune resistance that is given without challenging the immune system what does that mean that means you are giving some ready-made stuff for the immune resistance as simple as that so we give antibodies or sensitized lymphocytes that gives the uh, immune resistance to the person all right that means here the immune system is not activated 
so such kind of uh, immunization if you think about it would be short term isn't it because immune system is not activated it is not going to have a uh, memory cells it is not going to last for a long time whereas the active immunization since the immune system is activated it would have the memory cells and such kind of immune response or immune resistance is going to be for long term all right so now whether it is active immunization or passive immunization it can acquire either naturally or artificially both of them all right and if you think about it you know active naturally uh, what can that be say for example we want our immune system to be activated naturally so obviously it can occur once you encounter an antigen right so natural active immunization can occur following an infection or a disease if we encounter any antigen naturally our immune system will try and fight against that antigen and as a result it will produce the memory cells for that particular antigen so when we encounter the same antigen for the second time now we have the memory cells for that our immune system knows the antigen and it will neutralize this particular antigen even before they infect our cell so we have got immunization here the immune resistance over here naturally so it is called natural active immunization of course all right so what will be this artificial means of getting this active immunization remember we are talking about active immunization so we, so we want to stimulate the immune system so again we need antigen over here and since we are talking about artificial that means we need a preparation of antigen if we inject it in our body it will stimulate our immune system so second time when the antigen same antigen enters the body immune system knows the antigen and it will fight against it so that is nothing but injection of vaccine we know about vaccination by killed antigen or attenuated antigen some kind of toxoids they are given in the body which will provoke the immune system that will not actually result in uh, actual illness but it will stimulate the immune system immune cells to eliminate these antigens all right and next time when the same antigen enters we are going to fight against it so it's an artificial way of active immunization and this is vaccination the process is vaccination that would result in active immunization so so here we can see the difference vaccination and immunization right there are chances that 100% it might not even result in immunization okay there can be multiple factors where the vaccination may not always result in immunization so that we can talk about some other time when we are talking about vaccines in detail okay now let's see what is this passive immunization as i said we are not provoking the immune system we want something ready made to give us the immune resistance so naturally if you think about it how can we get uh, immunization ready made this comes in picture when we are talking about a fetus a uh, child before birth and after birth before birth we know that mother can transfer the antibodies to fetus through placenta right so these are the ready made antibodies from mother which is transferred to fetus so this gives a temporary uh, immunity immune resistance till the baby's immune system is actually ready and after birth again it is transferred through breast milk from mother to baby so what this artificial uh, passive immunization means of course we are talking about our, uh, passive that means antibodies or lymphocytes so that means we prepare this antibodies or lymphocytes from another individual's immune system and that will be used as a vaccine to give immune resistance okay so we'll inject this vaccination with antibodies or lymphocytes to give us artificial passive immunization so here we can see immunization is immune resistance against a specific antigen or pathogen and vaccination is just one of the way to acquire the immunization which can be active or passive so that's the difference between vaccination and immunization they are not the same thing uh, i hope 
this video made it clear to understand why they are not the same thing so i hope this video was helpful do subscribe to the channel for new video every week and i'll see you next time until then keep learning